What's going on, my Cardano friends? It's your friend Jack here, and today I want to talk about Meld and the Meld ISPO and whether or not it is a safe bet. Because I know there's a lot of controversy around uh, initial stake pool offerings where you do give your basically staking rewards up in exchange for some future token that could or could not have. Um, actual value. It is really hard to tell with these things, which is why I have kind of been thinking a lot about it, because technically these tokens could be worth um, just about nothing when they do come out. If the project is to flop, if the project is to slow down, if the project is not to pick up as much traction as anticipated, these things could go downhill. Now, of course, you're only losing your staking rewards. You're not losing your actual ADA, but it's something to talk about. And I want to go over a Twitter thread right now about meld so meld i have nothing against their project i think they're building a you know they're building which is good on the cardano network but there definitely is something to be said about that they're going to be getting 1 million usd per month from their stake pools so this is pretty crazy and it is a lot of money just to start a business and to run a small team to build on the cardano blockchain so a lot of people think this is greedy and a lot of people are saying that it's you know they're giving back but they are only giving back basically meld tokens which cost nothing for them to make technically and there's no really guarantee in the future value of these tokens now there is other sp or not spos there's other isos like sunday swap they're kind of thinking of doing the same thing but i think there's a reason they took a step back from actually doing that and probably because they're seeing that you know meld is meld has saturated pools with 60 million ada in it but um, you know there's a lot of controversy around it and obviously it's working well for meld now but who's to say they don't get hit with some really bad you know really bad warning or something from the sec so there is definitely a lot of gray areas there that i don't think are completely ironed out and we have here you know rick from digital forest uh, did you, is that I saying that right? Well, from the Cardano Live podcast. And if you want to check out this one hour talk with Ken Olling from Meld and, um, you know, Rick here, you can do that. It's a really good watch and definitely going to be, uh, you know, suggesting that to people who want to learn more about Meld and see who's behind it. So good watch. Definitely go watch that. But in terms of Meld, uh, YouTube multi SPO here. So this guy, Cardano Live, he's a YouTuber. He runs multiple stake pools. This is his views on the matter of melt. So he only charges 2.5% fee and gives back 97.5% of 100% curator rewards as opposed to, you know, or offering meld tokens. So giving back ADA to me is always a guaranteed thing because ADA is ADA meld we don't know where it's going to go which is which is the risk i think people don't understand as much but m most people who are dedicated uh you know going to meld putting their staking over there they're expecting it to skyrocket they're speculating which is fine but i think people should also understand that there's no guarantee whatsoever and sometimes it does seem like there is a there is a guarantee but realistically meld doesn't have a huge obligation to go you know super crazy and make sure everything's 100 percent their token goes crazy obviously they want to make their token go up and they want to do well but there's no there's nothing stopping them from not doing well so keep that in mind and some more things here so some community pools spos for sure generate value you know cardona live podcast another one mentioned here it can be debated whether they really need so many pools for this value, but meld exchange pools are extreme examples. In the in this case, the kind of business we would say, community pools. These aren't really community pools. They're to run a business. The profits from this, and meld is pretty transparent about this, is to run a business. So the end discussion that I want to say is that I don't think meld pools are unsafe, but they might be a bit disingenuous. Um, as in, you might not actually get really anything in return because if the meld tokens aren't worth anything then your rewards are not worth anything with ada you're guaranteed that you're gonna have that ada so just saying that all i want to say 
I think Meld is going to be a good project still. Nothing against them at all. But the ISPO is a weird way. And also, as I'm building my own stake pool, I'm realizing that, you know, this does take away from stake pools. And I know they did mention, you know, working with stake pools to get their stamp of approval and things like that. But in my opinion, I think especially smaller pools are going to be greatly affected by this by their, you know, low amount of delegators going over and just staking with meld. It does hurt smaller pools. And I don't think it's going to really help decentralize the network in any way. But um, I don't want to put any hate towards meld. I just want to let you guys know that there are risks associated with staking with melt those tokens are not guaranteed to be worth anything i just want to make that clear same with the sunday swap iso same with any initial stake offering especially on a dex um, or something that isn't even out yet so keep that in mind please do and huge respect for all the places and projects that could do an iso but are holding off because you know, there is something to be said about doing an ISO and I like the concept, but I'm not 100% sold on it just yet. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for rambling on and saying the same thing like 40 times. If you guys want to check out this video here and learn more about Meld, definitely do so. The Cardano Live podcast is a great place to go. For some reason, I'm not subscribed. What am I thinking? But anyways, I'll leave the link down in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I really do hope you guys have a great freaking day. Peace out.